Hey players, do you usually compare yourself to others and wonder, why can't I have what they do? If you ever feel like you just don't match up to the expectations of others and yourself, keep watching because I'm going to do my best to help you out in this video. Humans by nature are social creatures. We're always checking to see if we're following along with the pack or heading on the right path as others in life. However, what tends to happen is that we become a little obsessed with wanting to have the success, relationships, or overall lifestyle of others that we have deemed as living the good life. One important thing to realize though is that you are not the only one that compares yourself to others. Even the people you idolize end up doing that too. Everyone falls short at times and wants what other people have. It's a simple case of the grass being greener on the other side. So when you see a guy with a really hot girlfriend or a girl with a really cool guy, even those people want what other people have. So you really aren't alone. If we stopped for just one minute and really took a look at our lives, you would see that you are way more special than you are flawed. I know, there are tons of things that can be improved, but we tend to overlook the very basics of it all. Having a roof over our head, having food to eat every night, and being able to just socialize with even our family or friends. You may not be in a relationship or have an active social life or be doing that well in school, but what you are is funny, smart, and trust me, you are important to someone else, even though you may not see it that way. That's why it's important to accept yourself before you decide to change yourself. A huge part of self-acceptance is to really take a look at who you are in the here and now. Maybe you want to make new friends or lose weight or be able to talk to your crush. Instead of spending a lot of time trying to acquire new skills, really take the time to understand what's making you feel awkward, nervous, and unable to do what you really want to do. For example, do you struggle with making eye contact, starting a conversation, or just feeling calm around other people? Each of those behaviors can be attributed to something that you're not fully aware of, so spend the time to really understand it. It's about working to make progress and evolving along the way. But don't forget, just because you're on the path of progress doesn't mean you have to be perfect about it. Nobody is perfect. There are people who are quick learners and those that are not. But it's not so much about reaching the end of your goal. It's more about the journey along the way and really taking in and understanding each breakthrough. As for the feeling you feel when you don't feel good enough, it is perfectly natural. But it's not so much about what you feel as much as it is about what you do with your feelings that matters. Taking the time you need to reflect on your own behaviors, understanding that there are others on this journey as well, and really being proud of every inch that you take is enough proof alone that you are good enough and you are worth someone caring about. What do you think though? Do you ever feel like you're not good enough? Leave your comment below and we'll talk about it. I'm gonna share a few related videos on boosting your self-confidence that I think will be really helpful for you. So you can check those out in the description below. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I put out a new video every Tuesday where I teach you tips and advice on how you can be your best self. And if you found this video helpful and you wanna help support the channel, click on the Patreon link down there as well to find out how you can get your 15 minute Skype call with me every single month. I know it's cliche, but I'm gonna say it anyway. You are special just the way you are. As always guys, love and peace.